Hello everybody, today I want to do a quick video on how to batch resize your photos for use in the web. Uh, I'm going to be using a PC and I'm going to be using Adobe Bridge as well as Photoshop. Uh, everything I'm going to do here is going to be on the PC and you can do this on your Mac. So it should work out well. I open directly to the file I want to work on. Uh, in this particular file I'm only using six images just for uh, purposes of this video to make it faster but what I want you to notice is I'm click on this video or image here and you'll see that it's 5520 by 3680 and if I click on this portrait one it's 3680 by 5520 and I want all my pictures to end up being 1024 on the long side meaning that if it's on a uh, landscape I want this to be 1024 by whatever this would be and conversely if I was working out portrait I want this long side to be 1024 by whatever so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control A and that will select all of my images I'm going to go to tools I'm going to go to Photoshop I'm going to go to image processor now when you open this it's going to give you a couple options first one is going to give you um, open first image to apply settings so let's say that these are all raw images and you want to go in there and you want to do some exposure settings or you want to do some clarity or noise reduction you could batch edit all these at once by doing that and this would allow you to open that first image make your adjustments to that particular image and then every image thereafter would have those same adjustments applied I've already done that to these images so I don't need that these are just being resized it asks you where you want to save for this image or for these images I'm going to save them right back to the same file it's actually going to make a new file in the file that they're already in and then it gives you some options on how you want to save for this case I want to save as a JPEG full quality I've already changed this to 1024 but this could be whatever you want Photoshop sometimes will tell you to make it 2048 by whatever uh, maybe you want them larger or maybe you want them smaller depending uh, from what I want for my use for my the web and for Facebook I want these all be 1024 on the long side so you notice the width is 1024 max height is 1024 max and then if you had some actions done whether you want to do a vignette or something or if you set up an action an action to watermark you could also run that particular action as well and you can also make it add a copyright info into your ICC uh, profile uh, which is embedded data so I'm gonna go ahead and hit run you'll notice that it's gonna go ahead and open the images you probably will even see them. it does it so fast it opens and resizes and then saves them Okay, and that's done. Now I'm going to go back and you'll notice I made a new folder. Now again, remember, this particular image here was going to be 5520 by 3680. This one here is 3680 by 5520. If I go into that new folder, you'll see it's the same six images. But if I click, this is now 1024 by 683. This particular image is now 683 by 1024, thereby effectively resizing all my images. Now you can do this for a thousand images or whatever, it's just going to take longer time. Um, but once you set this up, it should help you resize and make your workflow go a lot quicker. Hopefully this was helpful and uh, thanks for watching.